Hello? Hi. You're not Dad. Sure, call Dad, but you don't call me. I'm so glad I'm recording this. <laughs> yes, so I should tell you I'm recording this conversation. <laughs> I, need a, I need a voiceover for the necklace video. Right now? If you can. So what's the first thing you have to do? All right, the first step, Eric, do a drawing of what he wanted us to make. Then carve the design out of wax. Eric carved out the volleyball from the movie Castaway. You want to carve it as much detail as you can, but you can always find, do finer details in the finishing the metal. Then after the wax is carved, the next step was to put sprues on it. The sprues allow you to cast metal into it. Next, we put the sprues on the sprue former ring and we filled it with investment. After the investment sets, we place the whole pattern in the ring in the burnout furnace. It will go up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the wax is melted in the investment ring, you've created a mold of the exact shape of the item that you waxed. We will then be replacing that wax with liquid metal. We melt the metal in a crucible in a centrifugal casting machine, which we spin and shoot the metal into the ring. After the metal cools, we hammer out the ring, put it in the sand blaster, blast all the investment off, then we have the cast metal design. Then we cut off the sprues, and we begin to finish the metal, smoothing it out and grinding off extra and details. After the metal is finished, it's time to prepare it for porcelain. We wanted to use a light pink porcelain. It takes about two or three bakes to do that. After smoothing out the porcelain the way we like it, the last step is to polish up the metal and get a good shine to it. And here you see the finished Wilson volleyball necklace. All right, perfect. You're right. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye. -bye. All right, bye.